Hi, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I guess most of you are not back yet. That's okay. So this is Gayatri Reddy, a 26-year-old young entrepreneur, co-founder, and managing director of Bell Plus Media Private Limited. So I'm here today to talk on the evolution of DOH in the field of advertising. And before we get into the technical part of that, let's see how we have evolved as a company in the DOH market. OK? So well, the world around us is not the same, and everyone in it has, not, has got a different perspective for life, yes, out of which few of them would love to lead a very safe, secure, simple, and subtle life, whereas the others they would always love to take risks. They never wanted a risk-free life. They would never settle with what they have and what they are. Yes, and so I'm one among them who would never love to settle with what it is and keep looking out for exploring opportunities and keep evolving myself as a person and as a company in the DOH market. So it's like never settling for anything less rather than the first place. So having done, completed my education and my postgrad course at the Cambridge University, uh, maybe I realized the fact that no B school or no tech school which will actually teach you the business right from the next immediate day once you have passed out of your grad. Oh, a lot of fans for that, good. And so what it is, like once I'm done with the education, I have actually started and looking out for opportunities. So when it was going through this phase of life, I would, right one day I've encountered to check on an incident. That is the day when we were actually working for a social cause in the Rotary Club. Okay, so what was our task? It's like we have to get in the kids of the age from five to 10 years, participate in the math quiz that we were conducting. So obviously, the right target audience for us would be the kids' parents. And we target, try to target them right at their residences. After a long struggle of around three to four days, we were able to put up a very small flex in the elevator lobby of these residential communities, and where there is hardly any people's intervention there. So that is the time we actually realized that there are a lot of gaps that has to be filled in the field of marketing, especially in the residential and closed community private space marketing. Yes, so that is the time we came up with the smart screen solutions. So we at Bell Plus Media, what we try to create, so before that maybe we'll just check with what are the problems that have been coming up with the traditional media. So back in the days when there were traditional flex and print media, what were the problems then faced? For example, let's take a city where there is around 400 square feet of space which has to be filled with a flex vinyl board. Okay, so, and it has a campaign, for example, of one month. I put up a display, I mean, I fill it up with a vinyl sheet and right after one week, I just wanted it to replace with some other content. Yes, for example, it is a food delivery app and it has got some discounts for the first week and a change in the discounts for the second and third consecutive weeks. So there is no way that we replace all these vinyl boards, flex boards with new updating content because that again involves a lot of manpower and a lot of budgets. So these kind of problems have been keeping taking place in the traditional marketing which has been ruled out by the social media and digital marketing. So with the keeping, uh, with the growing platforms in the social media, then the next uh, kind of marketing was the digital marketing. And again, it was not able to completely fill in the gaps. What happened there? The measurability, the tracking, and the monitoring of your ads was a problem in the social media marketing. For example, if you have, a, if you're a jeweler client and you want to promote your brand, and you would definitely love to target the audience only, suppose, in a radius of 10 to 12 miles around your store. And that can definitely not be done through the social media marketing or the digital marketing. Yes. So these kind of gaps have been filled by the smart screen network, which we try to create with the Bell Plus Media. 
So what we do is we fix up the sm uh, dual smart screens in the elevator lobbies of the private spaces. Let them be the residential communities, the premium malls, and also the IT common working spaces. So what we do, it is a dual screen where the top screen is given to the client for advertising their brand, and the bottom screen is an added advantage to the property holder, let that be any private space holder. Yes, so what we try to do here is we came up with an amazing software where we created the pre-campaign and post-campaign benefits for the brand. So what comes under the pre-campaign benefits are, for example, if you want, uh, maybe you will be the right person who wanted to talk to your brand rather than someone else taking up, taking up and doing that job for you. Yes, so what it is, is you can log into the portal Design your own template, like what kind you want it in terms of a video with an audio, or just the template, some kind of QR codes you want to put for the tracking. So you can template your, uh, you can design your own template and upload it for the inventory that you wanted to choose all across your city, all across your country, or across the world. So select the inventory, design your template, and get it uploaded from the client interface which is an end-to-end -end interface without involving any other marketing agencies or any marketing vendors right there. Yes, that is one. And for example, if, let's take it with an example, you have a food delivery app, okay? All right, that has got a week-long campaign, and on the Mondays it has got given some offers on pizzas, on Tuesdays on some Italian food, and Thursdays on some other food. So it needs to keep changing the data every day, which is not possible in any other traditional media. So we have created the software in such a way that all these templates, all these things which has to be done on the data lines and the timings can be set as per the software. Yes, and once the campaign is live and you go get across through the payment portal, the pay, uh, campaign is live within a lot more than five minutes across all the screens in the world, post the campaigns. So doing the campaign is not a tough job, but once it is done, the monitoring, the tracking, and the operation of that was a challenge in most of the traditional media. So what we do here is once the campaign is done, or maybe right in the process of its happening, we provide the client with the reports, with the log reports. So what the reports exactly says, it gives you an analysis of the viewership count, how many people have seen that, how many number of times the ad has been played, how many women, how many men, and all these details, all the analysis of this is given to you in the proper log reports, which will help you analyze on how to further take your brand forward. Yes, and for example, if you're doing a campaign somewhere in the West and you can't physically go and check if the screen is on or if the flex board is on if, or if it's torn up, if there is some other brand which is from getting promoted there, you need a proof of play for everything, right? So in this case, we have created the software in such a way that whenever you, the client wants to check with the, what is happening over the screen, he can just log into the portal and check with the screenshots or the live updates of what's happening over the screen. And in case of any, by any chance, if there was any screens down and he, if he has that doubt of play, he can just check with all the monitoring happening on the software. So we try to incorporate all this in our existing software. So this is the way we connect through the, I, through the cloud software, through all the media assets placed all across the world. So we'll just check a quick walkthrough of how the inventory of the media assets is happening. I guess there was some issue with the video. Yeah, you can pause it there.
So this is the elevator lobby of a premium residential community in India. So where we have put up displays on the elevator lobbies, which is a dual screen, and Zomato, a food delivery app, is promoting its brand in the top screen, where it's divided in the screen into how many other templates it wanted with a QR code for the tracking and the branding, any video that has to be played. So the top screen is totally customized as per the requirement of the brand. Yeah. So currently we are up with 2,500 displays in India and moving further, aiming at 100,000 display target in India with further expansion to foreign countries like Dubai and Australia. So we didn't actually settle in up with the numbers and we were also evolving as a company in the evolution of programmatic DOH. So, so far what we have been seeing in the software or what is it happening in the advertising is just with the basic technology putting into the DOH and now it is like you are incorporating and infusing the artificial intelligence and machine learning into the uh, digital out of home advertising, which is nothing but the programmatic DOH. So, for example, if you are sitting somewhere in the eastern part and you wanted to run a campaign for your particular set of parameters in the west, so you need not actually rush to any media uh, vendor or any media agency for your ad. So, there is something which is coming up as the ad exchange. An ad exchange is a real-time marketplace where there is huge inventory pool set in from the supply side and the buyer side can actually approach all this based on their particular requirements. And in these cases, the most of the media buying happens in terms of real-time bidding or again, it happens in an auction. For example, uh, it is a New Year's Eve. And in the Times Square, there is only one slot left out for on the digital uh, smart screen. And it is Merck and BMW who wanted to get into those spaces. Then an auction takes place, which is the real-time bidding for that particular space. And all these can be accessed directly over the ad exchange platforms. And the next thing is how we customize the ads based on the customer behavior. For example, if there, for example, if there is a smart screen and a group of 24 or 25 year old youngsters standing in front of it, and it definitely makes sense for a BMW M4 series ad to be played there rather than a knee surgical solutions ad to be played. Yes, so it is customizing the content based on who the viewer is, and suppose it is also works in terms of temperature. Suppose if it's a very hot summer and a 10-year-old kid is standing in front of the display. So it should be something related to him. So something like an ice cream ad would do rather than playing up a jewelry or some automobiles ad in front of him. And uh, I also have checked someone asking about the emotions being used for this. Uh, I'm not aware of the company exactly, but there is also a company which is working on the face recognition technology which can give out the way, uh, which can give out the ads based on the person's emotions, based on the face he shows. For example, he is laughing or he shows a happy face. The ads which are related to that keeps playing and we are more flexible to use the emotions with the face recognition technology for the artificial intelligence in segregating the ads. So, moving further, Programmatic DOH will be a revolution, and advertising is no more done for the sake of advertising. Let's take it in an interactive and uh, lifestyle kind of advertising from here on. Thank you. Thanks for the stage.